Ja, Remy. Hey, uh, ik heb uh, toevallig net een pakketje in de, in de mailbox gekregen. En uh, volgens mij is het die 360 camera erin. Oh, goed. Ik heb wel zin om dat ding even uit te testen vandaag. Dus als jij uh, zin hebt om, uh, weet ik veel, tijd hebt om zo even te skaten. Misschien even te zwemmen. En dan die camera uit te testen. Ja, ik, ik moet zo naar een expositie van Jokams. Uh... God. Ja, misschien morgen. Oké, okay. ja, uh, nee. ja dan bewaar ik hem tot morgen. Hè. Dan kunnen we hem uh, morgen uit. Dus. Ah, ja. Geen probleem, doe maar niet. Scootie. Later. So, I still remember watching the very first 360 videos on my smartphone. It was a really cool phenomenon at the time, but after watching just a couple videos, the novelty of this phenomenon wore off. You just end up getting annoyed because you're missing 70% of the video because you were looking the wrong way. A couple years have passed and 360 cameras have found solutions to this. 360 cameras will definitely show that their technology serves a lot of other purposes than simply recording a 360 frame. 360 cameras create new opportunities to capture certain situations. In this video I will show you why in the future I might consider recording skateboarding with a 360 camera. So uh, 360 cameras have also found out about influencer marketing because I've seen a lot of other YouTubers with the same camera that I'm about to open up because Insta360 was nice enough to send one of their latest Insta360 One Xs and uh, I do have to say that this is not a sponsored video but they did provide me with an affiliate link that if you do consider buying one after this video you get a free invisible selfie stick while supporting this channel so that's that's a pretty good deal it's a pretty good product from what I've seen so far let's open it up quick little unboxing time so two boxes in the box one with the camera and one with the invisible selfie stick that you also get if you click the link below for free because they know that this channel is about skateboarding they sent another package which they called the skate or sports bundle There it is. So the camera is like a smaller but thicker smartphone. It only has two big lenses instead of a smartphone and it also obviously doesn't have a touchscreen. This is what the battery looks like. You can just pop it in the side. They also included this cord so you can create slow motion shots of the camera flinging around you in a 360. Shots are pretty dope but you gotta be careful whipping a camera around in your room. My name is Bruno and this is the future. They included a bunch of connectors and a little pouch. How cute. In the bullet time bundle they included a tripod and the invisible selfie stick. Now most selfie sticks make you look like a self-satisfying shameless tourist. But this one does not really because you don't have the camera pointing directly at you. And also the shots it creates are 80 times more worth it because they are actually insane. And I want to show you guys right now. So the footage we shot simply riding through the skate park already looked really satisfying without any effort whatsoever except for the post production that's where uh, there does come in a bit more effort but this kind of footage really shows what this camera is capable of. I was holding the invisible selfie stick the entire time and there are two things that really stand out which is that you don't notice that I'm holding the camera and the footage looks insanely smooth. After shooting this footage it was time to use the next function of this camera slow motion function called bullet time.
then surfed through the beautiful city of Amsterdam on our electric boards. This camera impressed me once again when I used the time shift function and it showed me how easy it was to create a hyperlapse. So as you guys can probably tell, I'm pretty impressed with this camera. So am I going to be filming skateboarding with it in the future? For sure. I think it's a good camera for skateboarding. Those bullet time and time shift videos are super sick and quite easy to make. I'm super happy that I opened up my mind to this piece of technology. Its price at $400 seems reasonable to me, but just like me, no piece of technology is perfect. So there are cons to this device. And here are the ones that I noticed while using it. Uh, first one, files are huge. If you want to edit on your laptop, you undoubtedly have to create proxies in Premiere Pro. Uh, can't imagine having to edit more than an hour and a half or two hours of footage shot on a 360 camera. Second one is that the software to edit 360 videos, it's not really smooth yet. It contains quite some bugs, discounts for their own software, but also the VR plugin from GoPro. After a couple days, I am now able to use both programs to work around the bugs. Uh, they also emailed me that they have their team working on this. It's relatively new software, so I do understand why there are still some bugs in there. And my third con is that I don't think it replaces an action camera. I think a lot of people try to compare the two, the GoPro and the Insta360, but I think these cameras are in their own category and also both in the league of their own. With that said, the Insta360 ONE X is the best 360 camera in this price range. I think it's an absolutely amazing piece of technology. I do recommend it and I will be using it to shoot more dope footy in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out and skate on. Which one will break fastest? That's the true question. Or the Insta ONE X. Oh shit. <laughs>